this could have gone really badly. Yeah. As you said, Glenn, a lot is going to be looked into protocol as to how you can just get into a plane and just take off. Right. Because a lot of people have access to those but, tarmacs, right? But yeah, I mean, this, 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 if this guy is the mechanic, they said he's probably had a full airframe and power plant license granted by the FAA. He, he may well have had a pilot's license or something kind. He may well have been one of the guys that will that's that's certified to taxi this airplane from the gate to the hangar for maintenance work. Um, uh, he could have had all sorts of capabilities here, but from the radio traffic, it's obvious that he wasn't sort of in a position to sort of land it put his hands up. We've got some more audio now from Broadcastify, which is uh, a company that puts radio traffic into onto the internet. Yeah, let's take a listen to it from the beginning, and then there's some new uh, audio at the very end. So let's listen. You'll hear the conversation between air traffic controllers and and the uh, rogue pilot. So I can uh, reach out to you a little easier. A little bit. I'm sorry. Say that again. Sorry, uh, my mic came came off. I threw up a little bit. Uh,
the responding fighter pilots flew alongside the aircraft and were ready to do whatever was needed to protect us, but in the end, the man flying the stolen plane crashed. So that from the governor tonight. Uh, so uh, I think tonight, uh, as we wrap up our coverage, oh, here's a little bit more from the governor. I want to thank the Air National Guard from Washington and Oregon for scrambling jets to keep Washingtonians safe. Those pilots are trained for moments like tonight and showed they are ready and capable. Nothing but a fucking blowjob. As, as we wrap up our shit. coverage tonight, I, I think we can walk away knowing that this could have been so much worse. Um, that uh, there's one known fatality, and that's the pilot himself. This was a suicidal 29-year-old uh, man, according to authorities, uh, that he did steal this Horizon plane uh, from SeaTac Airport, that he was able to get it up off the ground, um, that he was able to fly around, caused uh, a great scare over much of our region tonight. Those F-15s scrambled from Portland, and ultimately this plane went down um, over Ketron Island. Let me say one thing here. You heard it in this that one? tape with the air traffic controller, who, who, whoever that was. There was a lot of professionalism that was executed tonight. And the governor is right about the Air National Guard from both states that were both deeply involved here, as well as the personnel wow. from the FAA to make this to minimize. Call the cool. Out of time, but Glenn and TSB obviously is going to be sending a team out. That's clear. Yeah. Okay. Well, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you for uh, watching, and uh, we will have much more coverage on Q5.com throughout the night and on the news tomorrow morning beginning at 6 a.m. Good night. We now join the following calling program already in progress.